Hello guys. So this video is about the Mellow 3 I stick Pico L leaf. E leaf. Excuse me. Alright guys, so basically my I decided to change the O-rings on my on my vape. See how these are supposed to be trans about clear and that's how they look so I felt a bit disgusted about it. Oh shoot. Ha I'm a dummy. So I just spilled some of my, my liquid there. Hold on. Anyways, you could see how nice the O-rings look now. So I gotta wipe this mess now. Alright, so basically my my vape was uh, reading no atomizer so I started tripping and I said okay so let me try to figure out what reason would it not be working uh, I went from let me get this off so guys I have noticed that this thing has been leaking as you see you see there there's there's a little liquid ring there. So I told, that tells me that it's been leaking, right? And the reason my vape started reading no atomizer was I started reading it after my vape fell a few times. And after changing the old rings, it started reading it again. So what I did was I just took it apart again. And what I did was, first, I started messing around with the little clips. By the way, they do come out, this little clip right here. I just usually use like a little star. You just like, just get it in there and pull it up. It's better if you have a, uh, not the star one, but the flathead. I just don't want to get up and get it right now. You could actually harm this little pin here, which I probably am right now. Just take your time. As you see, it's coming out little by little. All right, so I just pulled it out a little bit. What I'm gonna do is just put it out with my nails. Just twirl, twirl. See, got it out. Now, when I got this little pin out, cause I'm trying to figure out, okay, so no atomizer. Maybe it's not making contact with the little pin in there, that gold pin. What's happening? So. I took this pin out, and when I took it out, obviously I had the I had the coil on, right? I had the coil on. So when you have it on, you really can't see inside like you do now. Now it's just basically see-through. So if I had the coil on, it just looks dark, and I noticed it looked wet in there, right? So basically. This is the internal part of the atomizer, right? Or basically what burns the liquid. So I said, wow, so that's wet. Maybe it's having problems with contact. So what I did, once again, I took it apart. And then you can't really see, appreciate it as much in here, but let me see if I could get a flashlight. So like what, Hey. Eli, where are you going? All right, just so you guys can take a look at. It. Okay, papi, ya está bien, ya conseguí uno, gracias. Can't really. Sorry, guys. Anyways, not cool, but in there, 
there is a actually excessive amount of there you go you see you can't really see clear I'm so sorry but you can actually notice that it looks kind of wet and there's an oil stain right there from when it uh, heats up so I decided that I would take a napkin right and I would uh, I just twirled it up a little bit twirled it up like that and then I just try to dry it up as much as I can even though the napkin doesn't reach fully and I don't want to like force it in there because it just might have pieces of napkins loose in there I don't want to start a fire yeah Whoa. I don't want to sound too dumb but look there's dirt coming out I'm just trying to get it as dry as possible there's even some like dirt residue worst case what I would do I would just wash wash this out. I would wash it, put it in warm water, and just let it sit there for a few hours. I don't I don't think it would have any mechanical effect on it, but just leave it from one day to another. You put it in hot water for a few hours, then you uh just like sit it dry on a napkin and it'll dry up itself. So like I said, I was about to throw this out before I decided to do this. By the way, make sure you put the pin back. The pin uh, sometimes might have something to do, but for my case, it wasn't the pin. So I just put the pin back. I'm putting the coil back also after drying it up uh, a, decent, a decent amount. I also dried up this uh, tip here of the coil, of the atomizer actually, sorry. All right guys, so what I'm doing is before that way I don't waste my time before I seal it up completely I'm just gonna screw it in make sure I don't screw it in too tight alright so right now guys you see it's halfway screwed in or well, it's pretty much screwed in but just not tight it's still reading no atomizer so earlier it worked I'm gonna just try to screw it in a little bit more Still, now it's screwed in actually completely. Now what the hell is up? Got a piece of napkin there. All right, there we go. There we go, guys. So that's pretty much it. That's what's worked for me. I looked at a few videos of uh, knocking on it. Uh, what, what, what else they said? Putting some cardboard on it. It just... Honestly, it wasn't working for me. So, good to go. And I have no liquid, hardly, barely. I usually do a mix of Heisenberg, like 40. Heisenberg with uh, Ice Tropical. It's pretty fruity. All right, guys, I'm running out of time here. Wanna make sure it doesn't come off again. Oh man, this, these things are so annoying. We got one minute left. There we go. Put some more liquid. I don't want to burn the coil what's left of it. Put some Heisenberg. Guys, if, if you guys are able to fix your atomizer problem or if you have any questions, please message. I usually check my... Uh, Make sure you comment guys and I could try to take you through the steps That's in case you've tried other Other options or watched other videos and you still have the no atomizer Apparently the mellow threes E-leafs are big for you know one little tap. They just fall on my table boom They have problems uh, for the rest of the time you have it. Okay guys Wow, nice and fresh. Thank you for tuning in to Make You Cry's vlog, Make You Cry YouTube. If you like, please subscribe. I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos and uh, have a good one. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Subscribe, please.